this is not the end and I'm bringing you another book review and this one you probably recognize it's been out since 2016 uh, the book is Super Scarves Beginner Levels ever since I started going to our neighboring Hobby Lobby I've seen this book I said man I would love to be able to do this but uh, recently Hobby Lobby has gotten rid of their book department and they put their all their books on the clearance aisle and I just happened to be strolling through one day and I saw that and I said wait a minute maybe they have that book I always liked and they did it's a little beat up because everybody probably did like I did and just went through and looked at everything and put it back on the shelf because like I said it was kind of pricey but just five designs and I'm sorry about the glare but there's nothing I can do about that right now except hold it at an angle try to mm, well we'll see I'll try to work it out uh, let's see but anyway seeing these gigantic scarves gave me the ideal to do my own gigantic scarf and I come up with my own stitch and everything and I'll post a picture of, of uh, one of them but uh, I just think these are really just snazzy I think they're really nice well, so let's have a look at the book and that's a quick snap shot of the scarves that are featured let's see all measure close to 14 inches wide and 120 inches long. Yeah, that's that's where I got the idea from, all right. And it tells what level each scar feels. But it says easy plus. I agree with that. Maybe a little bit on the intermediate side because I've never seen anybody at the beginner level do this so let's see and it gives like shopping list if you want to make that scarf what you need to buy your gauge information the hook size and then it gives you the pattern Go to the next one, basket weave stitch. Let's see, same thing, the level, the finish size, shopping list, hook, and gauge information. And then you had a pattern. The basket weave is not that hard once you get into the swing of it. It, it goes pretty fast braided cables if you have followed me you know how much I really want to advance the cables so hopefully one day I'll be able to do something on this level uh, same thing the, the level it is which is easy plus braided cables the finish size shopping list crochet hook recommended gauge information and then you have the pattern I would say the photography in this book is really nice. All of it follow the same program. I like that stitch. But I watched Bonnie do that stitch and it's, it's above that. It's above um, Easy Plus. It's really a complicated stitch. But that's just my opinion. Woven cables. And there's your pattern. And that's what it looks like off the model. This is really pretty. Strike the cable. That book set up for the same guidelines. There's your pattern. Let's see. Then in the back, it tells you general instructions about the um, 
abbreviations, uh, symbol terms, the gauge, and sizing according to yarn category, different levels of crochet, the terminology, uh, back ridge of chain. I call that crocheting in the back bumps, but you know, that's one thing about crochet. One thing can be called several different things. Post stitch front and back. In order to do that, it's, it's pretty easy, easy. Once you get the hang of it, change your colors. I can do that. Working in a space before stitch. Hmm. Uh, crochet hook sizes. Okay. This side tells you yarn information and it tells you what yarn to use and it's a sort of like a synopsis of what yarn you use on each project and then over here it tells you a little bit about Bonnie Barker yeah it tells about her family background and what, where else you can find her her work okay That's the back of the book. And um, since it was on clearance, I only paid a dollar ninety nine for it. I was glad to get it. Because I mean every time I go in there I stop and I look at this book. So now I finally have it. Yay! If you aspire to do cables, I suggest that you do get the book. And that's what I do. I, that's the one thing that I want to learn how to do is how to do cables. If you hadn't heard me say it before, you're hearing it now. It's not very big. And it's produced by leisurearts.com. But it's a nice book. Like I said before, the photography is really is really good. 